Let's get down to business to talk about Silver Palsy and Fushu. I have Hemi, Priestess, Spastic, on my right side. I have no known cause for my Silver Palsy. They just know that I have a hole on my left side of my brain through an MRI. I have spasms in my arm daily. I have spasms in my back monthly. I have spasms in my leg every two to three months. Now let's go on to the photo shoot because I don't really know what else to talk about with my Silver Palsy. Comment down in the comments what you think I should talk about. I do have a lot of information. That was my backdrop. I just don't have anything to actually keep it up except for tape. So, and it's not good tape, it's packing tape. Uh. So the photo shoot is for people to know that they are magnificent, they are worthy, they are loved, they are amazing, they are beautiful, they are handsome. And, um, it's to show that no matter what religion, no matter what race, no matter what disability, no matter what gender, no matter what sexuality somebody has, they are loved, they are magnificent, they are awesome. Because if there was a transgender lesbian who works at a post office, valid, loved, magnificent, beautiful, somebody in a wheelchair, valid, loved, magnificent, Somebody who has depression or bipolar or anxiety, valid, beautiful, magnificent, handsome. Everybody is valid in some way or another. And people truly should know that they are loved. And that's what the photo shoot is about. And I do have um, the. I'm going to say what the funds are now. Which um, one of them is um, a truck around 2013 or newer because they're nub. So if you think of regular um, shift, you have to, you can just bloop, click, I can't do that. I need the nub because I have an arm in my way. Because <laughs> even if you weren't a... Uh, right-handed person or whatnot you were left-handed person you'd still have you you'd actually have an arm lifted up so you could shift but and have a hand that could steer the wheel at the same time this can stay on the wheel and steer pretty well but also there's no there's a button to take me away from actually being able to do things fully abled. And the knob would help um, shift quicker and I won't die. <laughs> Neither would other people. It's a possibility no matter what you do if you're on the road it's a possibility that somebody will die. If it, there's a crash. Um, But another another thing for transportation that is a good thing to do is an RV. Even if it's not a motorized one, it's one that you can hook up and just leave. I found a few different ones, and the cheapest one that I found was a 2000 Jayco 
uh, forgot what the name of it was, but it was a, Jayco's a brand of RVs, um, for 2,500, it's one that collapses down so it looks like a boat level, um, and I found a 2013 or 2014 RAM on the same location, Facebook Marketplace, for 6500 and uh, I would possibly, I would need RV equipment which is uh, not that much but a lot at the same time because it's maintenance for the RV like sewer hoses, uh, propane, which is used for cooking, um, things to deodorize, gray water, take away, black water, blah 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 blah, and pump, and pump. All that would cost about two hundred, three hundred dollars, um. Then gas, three dollars average across America, and um, from California to Georgia and back, it's 2,500 miles, so it's going to take a good bit of money just for traveling. And if I have an RV, there's an a America subscription for campsites. So you can go in for free, or you can go in for a discounted price. And it there's at least two or three in each state, because there's over a hundred campsites in, in the thing. So I was thinking of that as a way to do it, or America the Beautiful, or what not. Also, people are probably off by now, because I'm just rambling on about things. But like and subscribe, like and subscribe, see you later, bye.